Morning. How's it going? Well, those new fellows you hired from out of town, we brought them up here by truck this morning. They took one look at that picket line and turned tail. They don't look so rough to me. Well, Mr. Hartwell, they've got some pretty tough hombres there. Especially that picket captain. Uh, what's his name? Ray? Raymond something or other. Oh, yes, I know that one. That's their main picket line. They have another post on the back road. The roving patrols all over the place. On company property? Why don't you have them thrown off? It was all company property, Mr. Hartwell. The store, the housing area, everything. Where are you going to throw them? And who does the throwing? Well, are they going to let us pass? Eventually. This is just a little ritual to impress us with their power. Now, why don't you let this gentleman pass? Don't you know who's in that car? It's the paymaster from Moscow with our gold. No, no. It's the president of the company himself. Come all the way out here to make Jenkins general manager. <laughs> so why are you acting for me? Childish. Well, they're like children in many ways. Sometimes you have to humor them. Sometimes you have to spank them. And sometimes you have to take their food away. Oh, here comes the one that we're talking about. <laughs> He's quite a character. Claims his grandfather once owned the land where the mine is now. <laughs> Want to go up to your office, Mr. Alexander? Naturally. You think I parked here for a cup of coffee? You're welcome to one. No, thanks. The man would like to know who this gentleman is. That's none of their affair. It's all right. It's no secret. My name's Hartwell. I'm from the company's eastern office. You mean Delaware? No, New York. New York? You're not the company president by any chance? No. Too bad. The men have always wanted to take a look at the president. But you come out here to settle the strike. Well, if that's possible. It's possible. Just negotiate. Are we talking to a union spokesman? Well, not exactly. But I wish he were one. He knows more about mining than those pie cards we've had to deal with. I mean it. I know your work record. You were in line for foreman when this trouble started. Did you know that? Yes, sir. You had a real future with this company. But... They let those reds stir you up, and now they'll sell you down the river. Why don't you wake up, Ray? Huh? That's your name, isn't it, Ray? My name is Quintero. Mr. Quintero. Are you going to let us pass, or do I have to call the sheriff? There's nothing stopping you. I was wrong. They don't want Jenkins for general manager. They want me. <laughs> you should have heard that fellow. What a line. I was up for a foreman, he says. Fíjate. What's the matter? It's nothing. Just a little catch. Papa! Papa! Over here! Is that Luis? What is he doing? Playing hooky again? Louise! Come back here! Papa, we seen them! Two scabs over there! They're hiding over there in the gully! Hold it, brothers! You, Antonio, Alfredo, Chente, come with me! The rest of you stay on the line! Come on, listen to me. For the love of God. You! You! 
I'd expect it of an Anglo yet. Come on, I'm in but the jail. You. I had to get a job. You who the blood sucker. Come on, my kids. Tu traidora tu gente, rompe huelgas, my desgraciado. You think my kids have enough to eat, you rat? I know it's wrong. Just let me go. I'll live now. Just let me go. You think I was gonna work you over? I wouldn't dirty my hands on you. Do you stop? Wanna have a little talk with you while you slug that fella back there? But that's a lie, I didn't. Look. You know, there's no way to talk to a white man. No, no, no! Go back and get a blanket, Julia, so we can carry her. Hey, Vance, I thought you said this bullfighter was full of pepper. Don't look so peppery now. Oh, but he is. He's full of chili this morning. <laughs> He likes it hot. His Chiquita makes it good and hot for him, don't she, Poncho? Sheriff, we need a doctor quick. There's a woman gonna have a baby. You take me for an ambulance driver? There's a company doctor. We don't have a car if you'll just get him. Are you kidding? Company doctor won't come to no picket line. Get her home, baby, sometime. Take her inside. Hold your head up, Poncho. That's no way to sit. I'll not leave you all, you lice. I'm not going to take off. Forget me, fruition. This time will never be far. Your ten compas, you want to... Have mercy on me, child. Let me child leave. Oh, my God. Esperanza. Ramon. Ramon was in the hospital for a week and then in the county jail for 30 days, charged with assault and resisting arrest. But I made up my mind to postpone the christening till he got out of jail. We christened him Juan. That night we had a double celebration. Juanita's christening Ramon's homecoming. We put all the children to sleep in the bedroom, as usual, and the men took over the parlor, as usual. Five thousand, darling. That beats. Bring you ten thousand. Dog. All right, let's see him. Jesus, Lord. Come to Papa. Hear those deputies, log Chente. Yeah. Been lots of provocation lately. They figure if they can lock up the leadership on some phony charge, maybe they can bust the strike. Are we going to let them play poker all night? I want to dance. With whose husband? With any of them, even my own. If you dance with my husband, you'll have to put up with this. And another thing, your attitude towards Anglos. If you're going to be a leader... What attitude? You lump them all together. Anglo workers and Anglo bosses. He's a guest in my house, isn't he? You're even suspicious of him. Maybe. I think he's got a few things to learn about our people. Go on. Spill it. Well, you're the organizer. You work out strike strategy, and most of the times you're dead right. When you figure everything the rank and file to do down to the last detail, you don't give us anything to think about. Are you afraid we're too lazy to take initiative? You know I don't think that. Maybe not. But there's another thing. 
Like when you came in tonight. I heard you ask your wife, who's that? His grandfather? 